Hey kids, welcome back. I'm Mr. Carlos. We're here on the Hope Campus, right here in our Hope Studio. Why don't you kids introduce yourselves? Hi, my name is Sam. Hi, my name is Alexander. Hi, my name is Isabella. So we're all still in our Driven series, which focuses on what's inside matters most, which brings us to our bottom line for this week. When, when you are not, not truthful, you, you lose trust. trust. That's right, kids. We want to be known for telling the truth. And that leads us to our virtue this month, which is integrity. Integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever we say and do. All right, kids, what do you say we do next? Time, Time to get, get on your seats, seats and on your feet. feet. Yeah, let's worship. Why would I worry? You never show up late and you don't make mistakes. I'm not in a hurry. No, I'm walking at your pace because you showed up. was awesome. Now kids, go ahead and sit back and relax and it's time for our story where we'll learn more about integrity and why it's important that we always tell the truth. What's next kids? The story before the story. Today we're in the 12th book of the Bible, 2 Kings. This tells the story of God's people while they are ruled by kings. Here we also meet a man called Nimrod, who's the commander of a foreign nation, Syria. But Naaman became very sick with a skin disease and no one could help him. A servant girl from Israel who knew the one true God said that a prophet of God named Elijah could help Naaman. So Naaman made the long journey to Israel and eventually ended up at the home of Elijah. And that's where the story starts. When Naaman contracted a skin disease, he became an outcast, someone who people avoided. He was so desperate that he traveled to an enemy nation looking for help. And God used the prophet Elijah to heal Naaman by telling him to dip seven times in the murky Jordan River. I'm low, I'm really low. Naaman immediately traveled back to the home of Elijah. I now know there is no other God in all the earth except in Israel. Now please accept a gift from me. Naaman offered Elijah money as a way to saying thank you. But Elijah wasn't about to make a reward or take a reward for something God had done. Surely as the Lord lives, I won't accept anything. So Naaman kept his money and rode off in his chariot, heading back home to Syria. Then enters Gehazi. Gehazi was Elijah's servant, who Naaman offered silver. You can imagine how exciting Gehazi was. All that money that came into the household, he might have been dreaming about what he could do with that or what he could buy. But then Elijah said, no. Wait, what? My master Eliza refused to take the gift, but why should I miss out? So Gehazi ran after Naaman's chariot. When he saw Gehazi, Naaman stopped the chariot and hopped out concerned. Is everything okay? <gasps> everything is all right. My master sent me. Lie number one. My master says that two young men just came to me, so please give me 20 pounds of silver and two changes of clothes for them. Well, Naaman was so happy to help that he gave Gehazi the clothes and twice the amount of silver that he asked for. Sneaky mission accomplished, right? Wrong. Because after stashing the silver in the clothes, Gehazi went back to Elijah. Where have you been, Gehazi? Uh, I didn't go anywhere. Lie number two. And that's when Eliza dropped a truth bomb. Gahazi, God showed me how you chased down Naaman and lied to him. And now you're lying to me as well. Because of that, you have the same skin disease that Naaman had. And sure enough, instead of getting to enjoy the silver and the fine clothes, Gahazi himself ended up with leprosy. The end. Well, that story sure took a turn. No kidding. Gahazi started with one lie. And then he had to tell more lies to cover up the first lie. 
Telling the truth can be hard sometimes, but it's still easier than dealing with the problems that lies create. Well, what's our part in the story? Well, integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever we say and do. That means telling the truth, the whole truth, even when it's hard. Like when your mom asks if you brush your teeth? Or when you have to admit to your teacher that you didn't do your homework? Or when it would be so easy to strengthen the truth that sometimes just to get someone to like you? If you don't tell the truth, you might get by for a short while. But eventually, the person you lie to will discover the truth. And they won't want to trust you anymore. Jesus is a perfect example of living truthfully. And everything he said and did, he always spoke the truth, even when it was hard. And he always did it in a loving way. With God's help, we can follow Jesus, choosing to be truthful in all we say and do. I think you got it, kids. So here's the thing, when you're not truthful, you lose trust. Just like Gehazi. So if we value integrity, we know our friends and family will trust us, instead of trying to cover up what we already are trying to hide. Well, kids, that's it. What do you say we end with prayer? Join your hands and let's bow our heads. God, we thank you for showing us that truth matters. Help us to tell the truth when we are tempted to lie, because we want to be trustworthy. Thank you for loving us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, kids, it's been so awesome having you with us today. And join us next week to learn more creative ways to learn God's ways to love others. See you next week. Goodbye.